and we are going to finish off this particular hands-on lab master class with the teaching on how you can share this agent uh, first of all how can you use it yourself and then how can you share it with a user who's having microsoft 365 copilot license and the last if you want to share it with somebody who don't have microsoft 365 license how can you share then how and how can how can you share that and how can they consume that as well so i hope you're going to enjoy uh, learning this master class i will see you on the next one take care all right so now let's go and learn about how you can share the agent what you have created with anybody else within the organization now all the agent what you have created you can use it yourself but what if you want to share it to the wider organization or with a selected number of users so you you can do that during the creation process you would have seen multiple times when i created these agents it had that sharing option but we never looked into it so that let me go and select a particular agent or let's come to the create an agent button filter out to pick out any agent which you want to share maybe i just want to share the basic plus web either you can download this and give it to someone or we are going to share when you click on share you get this link so if you select this link and send to someone you can either send via email or like a teams message or whatever so i'm gonna send via teams now one thing we need to remember is like when you want to share with someone you either have to select specific users in your organization wherein you have to put in their email address or you can select anyone in your organization then when you click on save the link will change that is the link you have to copy and then you can share with someone so i'm gonna send this link to one of the user in my lab environment just copied this link and i'm just gonna send it now let's log in as a user so this is the user i'm talking about if you look at it i don't have that garden agent in in the agent uh, space for that particular user logged in user you can see that it's a totally different user amber so now if i go to my teams all right so now um, I logged into my Teams. I can see that there is a message from my administrator regarding something. It looks like a website or something like that. If I click on it, let's see what happens. When you click on it, it says that, hey, this is built using Microsoft Copilot Studio and this agent provides blah, blah, blah. And this is how the message looks like. I can click on the permission who's got the rights and uh, what this agent does and things like that now if i like it i can click on add or i can share this with someone else as well so click on add because it is having an ability to share with other users i can share with other people as well so i can click on open in copilot so as you can see that now i have access to this um, agent it is created by somebody now if i ask any question based on how that agent is designed I'm going to get a response uh, for that question. So that is quite good. Now, this is a licensed user. So when you click on new chat or click on copilot, you can see that both work and web tab. This is a fully paid licensed user. Um, how do you know if this is a licensed user? I can take you to the admin portal and show you how to assign it and things like that. But this is a licensed user. So let's see how we can share this with a non-licensed user as well. So I do have a non-licensed user in my tenant. You can see that this user only have the copilot, um, not the work and web toggle. They can't go and ask anything about the organization. If I put the forward slash, I don't have my email, calendar invite and things like that. I only have access to the large language model and internet. So, and you can see that on the right hand side, I don't have that uh, agent. So let's see if I can share with this particular user. So if I go back to the sharing, if I go back to the agent and if I pick another agent, Pro Plus, oh no, I have to go to create an agent. Um, let's go to view all agents. If I select Pro Plus and click on share. Now this time I'm not going to share with a anyone in the organization. I'm going to only share with a specific user. So I put the email address of that user and I share it. Or I can copy this link and because I have shared with that user, I can copy this and give it to that user as well because it is only shared with that user. So let's go to that user's mailbox and see if we receive any email. All right. 
that's the notification from SharePoint. So that I don't think this user receives an email. I don't know. Maybe we can wait for some time. It didn't say that we have sent the request because it showed that uh, there is a link available. I think I have to still copy the link and uh, give it to the user. So, all right. So now let's look at the second scenario where if, if you want to share an agent, so this is a basic agent with somebody who don't even have access to um, the Copilot license. So I have a user here. If you look at it, this particular user don't have the work and web toggle. So they don't have access to the full paid license of Copilot. And I don't have the garden agent as well. So if, if I have to share with this particular user, what can you do? So let's come to the agent. Let's pick one. I'm going to pick the basic plus game. Let's go create an agent here. Select basic plus game and click on share button. This time I'm going to put in the specific username. So I know that Sonia doesn't have the Copilot license. I click on save and I will get a sharing link now. So I can click on copy this link and I can go to the user who don't have the Copilot license. So if I come in here, I put in the link to access that Copilot. I can see that that the details just like how I saw from the previous user. I can click on add. Now it is adding that to my Copilot. And now I can see that this user who I logged in, I don't have the full Copilot license. If I go to Copilot, no license. But when I go to the agent, I can start interacting with this agent. So I can ask question because it has the game module in it. Uh, towards the end, it will it should ask, do you want to play a game? Yes, would you like to play a game as well? So that's how you share it in a two different ways. Like one via just to a specific user and one to a organization. So anybody with the access to that link should be able to use it. Now, because I only added to this user, we can test one more scenario. I can actually go back, copy this link and come to another user, which I haven't shared, Amber. I haven't shared the game module agent to Amber. If I come here and add this, let's see if that works. All right, right. So the experience of a user who don't have access to the app or the agent, if you haven't explicitly given permission, then this is going to be the experience for that user. So now you have learned how to share it and bit of access control as well.